Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this channel. In the previous lessons, we just learned how to process the data and we're sampling the data into the format or into the time intervals that we want it to be. So what we're going to do in this lessons is to create the candlestick chart and also create some functions to share the latest information in the main chart. So let's go ahead and get started. So inside this anime functions under the main, the things that we want to do is to compute and also the plot the open high low close. And so what we need to do is to pass the corresponding axis into these functions and also pass the corresponding data frame into these functions. And then if we return means the open high low close data frame, just data frames, just in case we would like to further process the data. So let's create these functions. So that's that and then compute and plot open title close and the two arguments that includes the axis that is the main plot that is the axis one and then the other is the uh, arguments is the data frame the first things that we need to decide is to have a count on how many candlesticks that we need to plot so we need to have a count on the data to see how many open high low close that um, that contains in the data so that we can make the plot so we use a length and then create a range for this candle counter and now we have this candle counter we want to create an empty list and then in this empty, empty list we just count the range and then append the data into say append the open hello close data into this open hello close um, list so the first data that we would like to put is the candlestick con and it's the candlestick con and then of course we would like to provide the open high low close so that is the open high low close and now we are ready to plot the data so uh, we are going to use this candlestick open high low close functions and that is the axis that is the main part that, that we would like to put the candlestick chart in and then open high low close we need to put um, the list and then the width originally that is equals to one but i want to leave some space between each of the candles so i use 0 0.8 and then we need to assign the color for up and down and let me show you what kind of colors that we have for the color up we would like to use this green color and then for the color down that we would like to use this 
red color. So now if I run it and let me save the picture and you should be able to see something like this. So this is the candlestick charts that we just create. Let's um, create the candlestick chart. The next things that I want to create is to show these horizontal line with their corresponding uh, price and also I want to create to show sorry about that I want to create to show this open high low close so there are two things that I would like to do one is to plot out this horizontal line and create a big box that contains this uh, price at what levels that this horizontal line belongs to and I also want to plot out the open high low close for the last uh, candlestick chart, candlestick bar. So, but before we do that, we want to define the color. We want to define the color code to make sure that uh, when it's decreasing, when the price is decreasing, we want to use a red color and when the price is going up we want to use the green color so we use the closing price and the opening price to uh, we compare the price and then if the closing price is larger than the opening price and in that case of course it's going up and then we will use this color this is a green and then else is to sell it with the red color so in that case i will just name it as a color code that we're going to use so that is the color code that we are going to use so in that case if here you can see that if the price is going down in that particular candlestick and you can see um, the horizontal line is wet and the price open high low code price is also in wet uh, just in case if the price is going up and then that will turn it into green so now let's create the horizontal line um, we just want to add the horizontal line in this episode and we need to capture the closing price for that particular candlestick and then in that case the line style is a dash line and the color it goes to the color codes that we just assign and of course that will depends on the price whether it's going up or going down of that particular candlestick and then that will assign the color codes and then the live width is 0 0.5 because we want to show this because we want to show this box or this price around here so that will be um in the x-axis that will be already beyond the chart if you we use the coordinate so that is uh, already beyond the chart but for the y-axis that will actually reflect the actual price the actual price so therefore we need to trans system to do that so for the y axis we will continue to use the trans axis system that is the sorry for the x axis we will continue to use the trans axis system also that means this is from zero and then to one 
But then for the for the y-axis, we want to use the data. We want to use the data to represent that. So I put the data over here. So that will be uh, in here, that will be within the range from 170s to, to this price. So that will be reflected by the data. So there will be two coordinate system. In order for us to do so, we will use a method and the transforms called it the band transform factory method. And just like what I mentioned, that is for the x axis, we are going to use continues to trans continues to use the trans axis, and then for the, for the y, we will use the uh, we'll use the data. So we will just call it trans uh, with these with the use of these methods. So now we can actually put out the hats and for the x axis that is this trans axis the coordinate is beyond the chart so I set it uh, 1.005 but then for the y axis what we're going to do is use the closing price to represent the y axis so now we have the x and y coordinate what the text that we wanted to put is the latest price and then for the color code that we wanted to use is much more like a white color and let me show you oh that is gray color light gray and then the font size is 12 and trans forms uh, equals to trans that is the system that we would like to use and for the horizontal alignments and also the vertical alignment just uh, keep the tabs into the um, B box on the left hand side and then vertical alignment and make it in this, uh, into the center so we are going to use a B box over here and then for the face color we will use the color code so if this uh, if the price is going up and that will give us a green and if the price is going down that will give us a wet so for the edge colors we will use the same color excellent now if i run the program and let me save the picture for your reference. And you will see, we just add a horizontal line and we also plot out the price at the corresponding locations. And then the next things that I want to do is to plot the open high low close. Plot the open high low close. To do so, I created two lists. One is a strange list, and the other is the color lists and then I need the open high low close for the for the string 
and of course with their with their corresponding uh, figures. So we have the letter O, and that that mean, that stands for open price and high high price and so on. So so now we have the O. What we need to do is to get the open price. And of course, we need to put them into a string. So just put them into a string. And this is the I. So in, I'm going to put them in string. And sorry. That is for the low and finally that is for the close so we have the open high low close and then we need to assign the color so for the font that is open high low close i will use the light gray color And then for the price, that will depend on whether the candlestick is going up or the candlestick is going down. In that case, I will use the color code just to make sure that they uh, place it nicely. So I set up two margin. One is for the margin label and the other is the margins for price. You can consider this margin is more like a space. So now what I want to do is use a for loop to loop these two leads. But because they represent um they they need to represent with their corresponding color. So in that case, I will use a zip function to loop these two lists. And so say, for example, uh, for the open price, uh, sorry, for the open letter, the old letter, we need to use these light gray color. And then for the open price, that we need to use the color code and so and so. So therefore, I'm going to use a a a zip functions to uh, to run these two lists. Of course, I will then just um, put them into corresponding positions. So the first thing is to the set up the margins for the label because um, the first we have the label that is letter O and then we also need to provide the margin for the price So that is the original positions that is 0 0.75 plus 0, 0. And then for the y axis that is close to the top right hand corners. So that is uh, for the y axis that is 0 0.95. And then the first things that I would like to show is the string. And I will just give a space. So this is the S, that is the string, and then that will give me a space. So the color that we are going to use is already in this zip file. It's this zip list. And then for the transform, we will continue to use the trans axis. And for the font size equals to 12. So just copy those uh, arguments. And then for the font weight, 
uh, just forward and horizontal alignment and vertical alignment that is left and center and then we need to consider the margin the reasons why we need to have two margin is because you can see that the letter just take one space and then for the price it takes around five space so in that case we need two different margins in that case if the we we are going to track the color so if that is a light gray color and then we are going to add a at the space between the um, margin label and then if that is um, a color code or if that is not equals to these light grades that means that is for the price so in that case we need to uh, add a larger margins for the uh, for the price so in that case we will track to see if this is the color is equals to the light gray if that is the case the margin label will be at 0 0.01 and if not that is the if not that is the case for margin price and in that case we will add a get more space and finally, we can return to the list of the open hydro close. And so now, if I run these functions, and let me save the figures. And after you run the program, you should be able to see something like this. And now we have the letter O, H, arrow, C, and also the corresponding price that is open, high, low, close price. The final thing that I want to do in these lessons is to plot these informations which includes the stop code the current price and the target price and also the changes compared to previous date so what I'm going to do is to create a function to do that that is to plot the header and this what I'm going to pass in is to is to provide the axis that is the main chart main subplot and then I need to provide the stock code and of course I also want to provide the latest price latest change as well as the target into these functions and then now we can create this plot header function. Let me minimize this first. And then we can define these plot header functions. And for this one, this is the stock code. The first things that I want to show is the stock code and then the coordinations is 0 0.12 and because this is um, at the top so that is 0 0.95 that is for the stock code over here, APPL. And then uh, the that is a light gray color. 
So we'll continue to use the trans access transform and light gray color, font size 12, font weight bold, and horizontal alignment left and center. So similarly, we can also use these for the latest price. So here you can see latest price is just right down below the stock code. So what I need to do is to just change the y axis to 0 0.9 so that will just provide the latest price and now we can plot out the target but for the color codes um that is a blue color so we just um, the y axis that will be the same coordinate sorry in at the same height at the same level uh, but then x axis or x coordinates that would be uh, that would be on the right hand side of the stock code so in that case i need to change it and then this is for the target and then the color code that i'm using is the blue color and that is the blue color and finally we can print out the latest change but for the latest change just in case if that is going up i would like to give it a green color if that is going down we would like to give it a red color and uh, compare of course the price is compared to the uh, previous day so in that case i would like to check if that the latest change the first letter is a plus or a minus sign and if that is a plus we will give a if that is a dot uh, if that is going down then we would like to give it a red so let's take a look on this red and then for this one that is a green color so in that case now we can then assign a new coordinate because that is just on the right hand side of the latest price so we can just add 0 0.05 to this x axis coordinate and we're going to provide the latest change so that is the latest change and then for the color code here we will use the this color code and then the rest will be the same stress uh, the font size 12 font weight bow horizontal vertical alignments left and center respectively and finally we can also create a time stamp for it let's just create the time stamp at this point so i use now and then just uh, make this timestamps to a specific format that is year, month, day, hour, minutes, seconds. And finally, of course, we can just plot it. And for this one, we will continue to use this. And because this is on the right hand corner, and that is beyond the chart, so I will just um, give a 0 0.951.05 0 .05. and of course I want to provide this timestamp and uh, let me copy this first and then for the 
transform will continues to use the trans axis and then for that i would like to use the color in bright and font size continues to use 12 bold and for the alignment here i use the center center and finally final final so here you can see that we also provide the text for strategies and also indicators that is on the left hand side of the plot so let's also put inside these functions so we do not need to come back later on so um, first of all that is for the indicator the second is for the strategies just a label so just put an indicator over there and that is because this is on the left hand side and that is out of the chart so we will assign a negative 0 0.07 and at the top so 0 0.96 and then that is the indicator color in right font size 10 and so and so and horizontal alignment put it on the left vertical alignment put it on the center and then the next is the strategies similarly because this is um, uh, on the left hand side of the x-axis and we you just provide it a negative 0 0.07 and then for the horizontal that is around 0 0.66 and everything would be the same so now if i run this and let me save the chart and you should be able to see something like this so now we have the indicator we have the strategies we have the stock code target price current price and also the price changes we have the date and time at the same time we also have this chart that contains the open high low close price uh, the latest price the horizontal line and also of course the candlestick chart before we work on the we're on the interactive control for the indicator and strategies for this main chart in the next lessons we will work on the volume the MACD and also our SI subplot so see you in the next video bye bye